incidents like what happened to Akhlaq in Dadri and the rationalists elsewhere are regrettable and should not happen in any civilized society. But stray incidents have been happening all over India for many, many years. Strangely, our wonderful intellectuals who have been returning their awards, people we respect very deeply, I want to ask them, where was their conscience all these years when so many things that should have shaken their conscience happened? How come they didn't wake up to anything then? They now feel it's an unsafe place to live. I have a few questions to ask of them. Where were they when the ethnic cleansing of Kashmiri pundits took place? According to a report publicized by the Jammu and Kashmir police, 209 Kashmiri pundits were killed by militants since 1989, and about 109 were slaughtered in the year 1990 only. More surprisingly, only 24 cases have been filed in 25 years, with more than 110 cases untraced. Perception is a very dangerous game, madam. This is what is happening in this country. Many, I have personal My husband was the censor board chief when Vajpayee ji's government was in power. He was removed overnight when the UPA came into power, and Miss Sharmila Tagore, with due respect to her, was appointed. Was this tolerance? And madam, the two people, madam, the two people who started this whole thing against him, even though he was the only censor board chief who passed a film like Black Friday without a single cut, were the same people who started the problem about this intolerance, the same two documentary filmmakers. We are in the film industry, we know them, we recognize them. The Indian film industry has faced great intolerance from the Congress party over the years. When Mr. V.C. Shukla's time, he wanted Kishore Kumar to sing at one of the Congress functions. Kishore Kumar refused. Mr. Kishore Kumar was banned from All India Radio. This is a matter of history. Dilip Kumar and Devanand Sahab to take part in one of their political rallies. They refused. He wanted to ban them. Devanand Sahab writes about this in his autobiography. It's a matter of history and a matter of record. Northeast students in a Congress ruled state of Karnataka were driven out because of the dangerous perception was made. That's why I'm saying perceptions are very dangerous. Let's not make them for political gain. Let's not make them for political gain. My point is that they were all, you saw them on television, leaving in hordes. Where were these intellectuals? Was it not, was it not intolerance of the highest type? In Delhi, people were getting killed. Uh, they were, in Assam, people are getting killed. Where is the, where, where are these people who are talking so much about intolerance? Suddenly, inko intolerance lagne lag gai. Tab nahi lagi jab UPA power mein tha, kisi cheez mein bhi intolerance. Abhi hamare aate hi, suddenly sabko injection lag gaya intolerance ke. Ye kya manne wali baat hai? Hamara to ji, kuch ho nahi raha hai, zameen pe kuch ho raha hai. Are ya parliament mein hi bill nahi pass karne denge, to zameen pe cheezhe kahan se ug jayengi? It can't come by magic. For development, we need to pass these bills. And we request you to cooperate with us. Many among you are very, very educated, good people. You need to work with us for the country, like we need to work with you for the country. I don't think we should fall into these traps. It's easy.